Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. So today I thought I would have a little fun and show you uh, my Disney t-shirt slash sweatshirt collection. This is just 90% of it. I'm missing a couple pieces, but um, yeah, it's kind of a lot. So here we go. start with this one I'm gonna go in the order of the store and if I still remember the store's name and have their um, their website I will put it down below this is from my friend at 1953 designs I found her on Instagram she's a great store with so many different designs love this one this is another one from 1953 design I love it Disney dreaming let's be real we're always Disney dreaming here right I love the California Adventure one. I bought this one to hopefully go to California Disneyland this September, so we'll see what happens. If not, I'll be using it in my future Disneyland trip. I love this colorful Oh Mickey, you so fine. Uh, so fun, goes with so many things. Jean shorts, pink, blue, super cute. And then we're going to move on to one of my other favorite stores, Main Street Press. My daughter and I have a slew of these shirts. We're missing a few, but this is my ultimate favorite design. I have this in three different ones. I'm just going to show you the long-sleeved one now. I have had the mountain one for years. I have it in a pink t-shirt as well as the sweatshirt. Um, it's one of my favorite designs. Who does not love Big Thunder, Splash Mountain, Space Mountain? It's the best. Another one I just got from Main Street Press is one of my other favorite rides at the Magic Kingdom. The People Mover. Who does not love the People Mover? And this t-shirt is so soft and comfortable. It is absolutely perfect for those hot Florida Disney days. The next little t-shirts I'll show you are all ones I bought either via Shop Disney or at Walt Disney World. This one I got in Epcot years ago. It is one of my all-time favorite t-shirts. I love this one. Marvel. I bought this one actually for my daughter at the Marvel store in Disney Springs. She doesn't wear it as much, so I permanently borrowed this one. <laughs> Copper Creek t-shirt. I love this design. I bought this one via Shop Disney. You can get it customized and stuff in the back. But uh, Copper Creek is one of our favorite places to stay. Love the Wilderness Lodge. Favorite t-shirt. My daughter played field hockey at the ESPN World Showcase this year for the USA Field Hockey ESPN Wide World Sports Showcase. Tongue twister. Uh, so we had to get a shirt to commemorate the great event. I got this sweatshirt in Disneyland a few years ago when we visited. I love it. It does have pockets. Uh, no hood though, but it's a great material. Super cozy. Love it. And classic Mickey. This is another really light sweatshirt. I love the material and little shine. It's a perfect summery over your bathing suit or chilly night in the summer. This sweatshirt I bought years ago. I want to say 2014 in Epcot. I love it. It's so cozy. Um, it's not super thick, so it's one I kind of keep mixed in with my year-round stuff. And hood, pocket. I bought this on the Disney Cruise a couple of years ago. I love the material. It is a Nike one, so it's like that sport material. It's great for walks. No pockets, but it's a nice long length. So... I 
love this one. This is one of my all-time favorites. It's a long sleeve t-shirt sweatshirt like mix. It's not fuzzy on the inside, so it's great year round. We were in London a couple of years ago and they literally would not stop walking around the city until we found the Disney store. The Disney store in London is quite smaller than the one in New York City, but I wanted something Disney and London. So this was the perfect mix. Epcot, I bought this October of 2012 when it was the Epcot anniversary. Love it. All right, this one, it said, it used to glow in the dark. I took a leap and couldn't sleep. Um, I put all nader at the magic, all nader at the magic kingdom. This was from leap year 2012. We had gone with our friends to the magic kingdom. We did not stay very late because our daughter was a lot younger, but had to get a t-shirt. Of course I spilled something out a few years ago because now it, so now it became a painting shirt but could not throw it away. Love this one. Now we're getting into my Run Disney apparel. And this was the race shirt that came with your registration. I have done a whole video on our Run Disney shopping experience. This is the tank top I bought. We didn't do the half marathon, but I have run a few half marathons, so I decided it was okay. I just wanted a tank top. I wrote Cute Run Disney one, and I really love this one. It had the logo from the event we did, and and it's a great workout tank. So, great. And on our cruise a few years ago, we did the Castaway K5K. This did not come with our race registration because you don't pay to run the Run Disney 5K. You do get a medal. And then when we did this, we each got a little shirt, which we love. This Run Disney tank top is from the Star Wars 5K 2017. This is the half marathon tank, but I didn't really like the 5k tank and I've run a few five uh, half marathons so once again figured that was legit it's one of my all-time favorite workout tanks I love the material the fit whole nine yards this is the shirt we got with the race registration this is the Star Wars 5k 2017 race, re race registration shirt This is the sweatshirt I bought in 2019 at the Wine and Dine 10K. If you can see, every mile is magic. I really wanted a nice sweatshirt to walk around the neighborhood and it's got thumb holes. And as you can tell, I love any coffee Disney reference. I'm a big Starbucks uh, latte fan. This is why Once Upon Apparel, I'll tag them below. I still follow them. I don't know if they're making so many shirts anymore, um, but I'll tag them. They are wonderful photographers and great business. I've ordered other things from them and they're a great store. This is Oh Yeah Apparel. I don't know if they're making t-shirts anymore. I will once again tag them. I have a Halloween shirt you'll see when I do my holiday apparel. I absolutely love this design. I love the uniqueness of it and it's comfortable. This is one of my favorite classic ones. Uh, Mickey Ears Dual Whips Castle Selfies, Starbucks, The Disney Life. Like I said, any reference to Disney and Starbucks and I love it. Disney Life Happy Wife. This is a classic shirt. I've had it for years and years and years. My husband has the other one that points to me and says, um, crazy Disney wife. Uh, same store as the last two. Love this one. So cute. This is by the Lost Bros Company. Love it. It's a Moana shirt. Wavefinder. Moana. How can I not love it? All right, holiday collection next. Trick or treat, uh, because we've been to the Halloween party in August and super hot in Disney in August, uh, lots of fun Halloween tank tops. Uh, 
I suggest we form a calming circle. Another one of my favorite Halloween tank tops. A little Hocus Pocus reference. And once again by Oh Yeah Apparel. Love their designs. I think this even came with a tote bag for trick or treating for the kids. Super cute. Next, Christmas. Christmas. I love this one. We go to a ugly sweater party probably almost every year and I get super hot in sweaters sometimes so I had to order ugly sweater style t-shirt. Peppermint mocha. What could be better? Um, this adorable Olaf sweatshirt I got at Target. I had hosted an event for all of my local clients to come see a private show on the Frozen 2 last November. So had to get a cute Olaf sweatshirt. And last but not least, one of my favorite shop Disney purchases was this ugly sweater. Ugly sweater. I got a couple years ago when we did our family cruise. So let me know, do you have a favorite Disney t-shirt? Do you like getting them from Disney World or one of the Etsy shops? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Mm -hmm.